with the introduction of the AutoCAD specialized tool set, uh, a lot of users acquired the, 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 the product or the software AutoCAD Plant 3D and AutoCAD PID. Today what we're going to look at is the AutoCAD PID and just show you how much quicker it actually is just to create it. So I'm just going to show a, little, a quick little demonstration over here, putting some equipment, some pumps, some lines, uh, maybe some valves, a reducer. And then what I'm going to do with that is I'm just going to show how we can manipulate the metadata um, or the properties inside it through Excel so that we can, you know, sort of get a project out quite quickly, a bill of materials, bill of schedules. So the first thing that we notice when we create lines, um, sort of pipes, is that it automatically puts in the, the arrowhead on the, on the end of the line. And the nice thing about this is that, you know, we've got is sort of these, uh, these tools over here. Uh, pertinent or to to our AutoCAD PNID and one thing I just want to take a look at is reverse flow so what it does is you can actually reverse the flow of the pipe um, or the pipeline over there the next thing we're going to take a look at is you know a couple of valves uh, one thing you'll notice when inserting these valves is that it actually splits the line what did you have to do in normal AutoCAD bring in your block uh, then you know a box would pop up for your HA101 so your tag information so it's there already um, it, you would also have to then go break the line on either end of this valve and then make sure that, uh, that, it's, that, that it's, it's correct and it looks correct so that the line isn't showing through the valve either. Now if I move that line over here or the valve over here, notice what happens, it cleans up the line automatically. Okay, so just one of the things that, that AutoCAD PNID does this quite, quite quickly. Um, this is a dynamic block so you can see that I can actually go change the type of valve that we've got. So just change the symbol over there. Uh, keeping the tag. If I want to assign the tag over here as well, I just want to show you over here that you're able to go and change it and you've also got a little counter over here. So in the AutoCAD PNID software that you've got, uh, we've actually got automation in it as well. So it will actually look at all the different valves that you have got in this project if you had you know, sort of previously inserted more and it will automatically count up 101, 102, 103 and you can actually say how many strings of numbers you'd like in that, that number. 4, 3, 2, 1, uh, your choice. I can place the annotation. You can also have different types of annotation styles. Place an annotation up over here. Okay, it's just basically the same H101. Now, you say, okay, well, AutoCAD PNID, it's, uh, you know, AutoCAD plants much quicker. Uh, you know, because I can use my copy command, maybe there's a special PNID command that you've been using some other uh, foreign software that, that's, uh, or other competitor software uh, that's a little bit more difficult than the PNIDs. Pl uh, PNID makes it very, very, very easy. Um, all I really have to do is sort of copy it and then copy it and go and paste it down as well. Okay. Now, what you'll notice now is that it actually hasn't put a tag in. I'm going to delete this tag. Um, so I'm going to go and assign a tag to it. And then we can just say, look, right, let's go to 102. And it puts in the tag over there. Okay. Now, the next thing we're going to do is just put in a pump. So with the equipment, we're going to put in a pump over here. And uh, let's just see how that behaves. So I'll go put in a pump. You'll see there's no number, so yeah, I can actually go click on it, 001. Assign the tag to it, and there we go. Let's go do a copy of this one, because I want actually three pumps. And let's go and put in two more copies. Right click and enter. You'll notice over here now, it's actually putting P001, but it puts a question mark on there. So it knows that there's already a pump in there with a tag P001, and you actually need to go and change this. So you know, right click, go and edit it, and let's go and change it to 02. Okay, the question mark disappears, and edit this as 1, let's go change this to 03. Okay, so a little bit of manual input, a little bit of automation as well, but, you know, sort of going quite quickly, so, so we're getting that. Now let's take a look at uh, creating some more lines. What happens if we actually uh, join into a line? So I put up a via, and I'm going to bring it to that. So I select it, you'll see there that only the one line is selected and the other line is selected. So it's actually not part of that pipeline group over there. Uh, we do have tools to add that to a pipeline group up in the top over here. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go and assign a tag to this, this line. So assign tag, uh, very similar. So all the tags that you're getting, you know, be it equipment, your valves, your lines, 
all the all the, the dialog boxes that pop up look kind of the same. And with this now, we've actually got a whole lot of different options that we can do. How big is the pipe? Um, so this one has been set up for inches. Um, so let's go, it's a six inch pipe. What's the spec of the pipe? Okay, we've got the different specs. You can add this through your, your properties. Let's get carbon steel. Um, what is going to be running through this pipe? Okay, so all of this information is right there at the tip of your fingers. And by, 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 by sort of putting it at this level, you're able to get all this information out for your downstream engineering. Okay, let's just say it's drinking water, and then we can give it a pipeline group number. And this pipeline group number is, is quite important as what it does is when you go into your AutoCAD plant 3D and you start doing your 3D piping, you're able, and then also your isometrics afterwards, you're able to get all that information from the original PNID and it sort of flows all the way through uh, to your end product. I'm going to assign this and let's take it in over there. So there is my tag. Now, <clears throat> let's just see what happens if I put in a valve on this one. So I'm going to put it into a valve, put a valve in over here. Okay. Um, or, and then I put in a reducer. Uh, fitting, reducer. Okay. So notice what happens over here. Because I've put the reducer in, the information that it gets actually comes from the, the pipeline. So you see there's six inches by six inches. So if I go to this portion of the line and I'm going to assign a tag to this. And yes, it says six inches. I'm going to say, you know, it's a reducer and it's got to reduce to three inches. Now notice what happens with the tag on the reducer. It changes. Okay. So that tag over there for the reducer has been driven through the properties of the pipeline. So just another thing that, that, that AutoCAD P90 actually helps to accelerate your uh, the drawing process. Uh, let's take a look at a tank. So let's go to our equipment. Uh, let's go take a look at a storage tank. So I'm going to put this over here. Okay. And just like as any, uh, any AutoCAD block, let's just say let's make it two times the size brings up TK once again, different tag numbers, TK for tank, P for pump. I'm going to auto populate the numbering over there. If I had an existing tank that I wanted to see exactly what tanks or what tags I've already sort of replaced into this, um, into this drawing, I would see it over here uh, in my tags over there. Okay, let's go assign that and we've assigned it. Okay, so I'm just going to take this and just drag it back a bit. And let's see what happens when I drag this onto the tank. Okay. Awesome. We've got we've got a nozzle that, that automatically gets populated on there. So I've actually created this tank as a block that, that automatically creates nozzles when I either uh, sort of take a line or a pipe from it or terminate it onto the tank. So there we go. And there we go. Okay, so fantastic. So just, you know, this easy little drawing over here, you know, P90 drawings do get a little bit complex. <clears throat> um, we can just see that we can use the P90 content that we've already got, uh, you know, from Autodesk. It's there, you guys using AutoCAD, it's there, you've got it. Um, to be able to go and, and, and populate this drawing over here. You can use AutoCAD commands as well. A lot of people have told me that, you know what, I, you know, I can do this in AutoCAD. I can do it much easier in, or quick in AutoCAD. So here comes a little bit more power out of the AutoCAD P90. So if I go to my data manager on my tool uh, toolbar, tool palette, sorry, ugh, the ribbon at the top, you'll notice here that it actually gives me a list of all the different components that I've got. And it breaks my equipment down. Okay, P0, P0010020003. I've got a dome roof tank, a ball valve, a gate valve. It also puts in information. That does not have any information. So which tells me that I haven't actually gone and put my information or tagged my line to tell it how big it's got to be, okay, with the spec that it's got to have as well. So with this over here, I'm going to say, right, let's go to the pumps and let's go and export this to an Excel spreadsheet. So I'm going to just do the active note only. I'm going to go and save this. Let's go to our documents. And in our documents, you'll see we've got our Excel spreadsheet over here. So opening up the Excel spreadsheet, we'll see that we've got we've got our three pumps over there, and we've got a certain a whole lot of information. So for instance, we don't have a manufacturer. 
Okay, so let's go put an app manufacturing over here. Let's do Autodesk. Okay, using your normal Excel uh, sort of commands. Let's go and copy the cells in over there. Model, model numbers, maybe the supplier is micrographics. Okay, let's go, let's do MGFX micrographics. And let's go copy that down into these cells. Okay, so I'm happy with that. I click on save and I go back to my, my AutoCAD PNID. So now what we're going to do is we're going to import this information. Okay, log file is going to be generated. You can accept it. Import it in. We're going to choose the pump that or the Excel spreadsheet we've just uh, edited and saved. And we say, right, bring it in. What you'll see is it will look at the information that it's got sitting inside AutoCAD PNID, the database there, and also look at the, 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 the modified or the, the, the information that's different in our Excel spreadsheet. And we'll see there, I've changed the manufacturer and supplier. So this is a great way to be able to go and say, well, you know, I need to do the design. I've got someone else who's got an Excel spreadsheet with all our different suppliers, all our different manufacturers. They know exactly what we need to buy and what equipment we need to buy in. And they can then go through Excel. Maybe they've got a database. They've got all the information. Sit there with Excel and, and, and feed in that information while I'm still doing the design. By them doing that, it actually just shortens the whole design time for everyone. Um, and, and, and everyone is sort of much happier with that. So with this, you'll notice as well that if I, I can take this and I can actually drag and drop the information onto the, the, uh, the, the, sorry, the, the drawing over here. Okay, what it also does is that it actually uh, uh, it puts a cloud or a vision cloud around each of the different ones. Okay, double click on it, it'll actually go to it. Okay, so it'll actually go and zoom to it if I do have any equipment or any components sitting on another drawing which is not open at the time. It will open up that drawing and then it will zoom through to that component. Now, you know what? I can actually go and either accept each one individually, I can reject any changes that have been made, or I can just say, you know, accept all. Great, there we go. So now I've got my manufacturer detail in, my supplier detail, um, and that's been taken from an Excel spreadsheet. Fantastic, you know, so we've, we've, we've got all the information. So that was just a quick demonstration on being able to bring in some, some equipment, uh, you know, create some valves, some reducers, see how the, the tags or, or the information in the valves, or so the reducers, actually gets controlled by the information that you're putting into the, the pipe. Okay. So, yeah, so just hope that's a little bit of an introduction to, to what AutoCAD PNID can do. Uh, if you've got AutoCAD on subscription at the moment, you know, you've got this, you've got this right at your fingertips, start using it today.